Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I'm gonna try to squeeze two tags into one video. We'll see how well I do with that. But I have been tagged in both the B and D tags, which um, are created by Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. So I will link to the original uh, video versions of both of these. Um, and I just wanna start at the beginning by letting you know who I tag. And you can do the B tag or the D tag or both if you want to, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna tag Berna's Bookish Adventures, Bob the Booker, Elizabeth, who's a new booktuber and her channel is Bookends and Books. I don't know if I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. I will link to her channel down below and also knitting at books, etc. So the, that is who I tag for one or the other or both of these uh, tags. So we're gonna start with the B tag and I was tagged by Steve Donahue. Thank you so much, Steve. Um, question number one, B is for Bildungsroman. Do you have a favorite, it's basically a coming of age story? Um, Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. Definitely my favorite, and I know you guys, if you've been watching for a while, you will definitely have seen this seen this before. And um, if you're new to my channel, this is one of my favorite, favorite books. So it, it makes regular appearances, shall we say. Okay, question number two. B is for beach. What would you recommend for a beach read? And you know what? Like, I think different people like to read different things on the beach, so I don't really have any recommendations because, you know, you could be the kind of person who can read something really intense and uh, cerebral, or maybe you just want fluff, I don't know, but I would have to, I think recommendations need to be pretty personalized, frankly, so. Question, or well, the next part is B is for Beagle, show me your dogs. Sorry, no dogs here, just one cat, and I don't know where he is. <laughs> Probably in a bed somewhere. Uh, question three, B is for best. What is the best book you have read this year so far? <sighs> I have read some really, really great books this year, so this was a tough decision but I am gonna have to go with Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin, um, which I just, it's the last book I finished, read, but I just, oh my gosh, it's so good. So I loved this. Or B is for bookshop or bookstore. Do you have a favorite bookstore? Do you know what? I have been to so many wonderful bookstores all over the world. And um, I guess if I had to really pick, nail it down, I would say Shakespeare and Company in, of course, Paris, um, because it's in Paris. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I guess I would have to pick that one. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to go there again or not, but that's okay. Um, I, and honestly, like I've been to just, yeah, so many great, wonderful, wonderful bookstores. Question five, B is for banned books. Is there any book that you think should be banned? And you know what? I have worked for two different public library systems and I'm gonna say that no, no books should be banned. I understand like people objecting to things and there are a lot of things that your public library can do to maybe, um, not ban a book, but you know, make it so you can't check it out. Uh, make it so that it's attached to something, so that you know it's just impossible for you to stuff it in your bag or whatever. There are a lot of things that libraries can do so that people can still have access to things that are challenging, or um, maybe we have changed our attitudes about those books. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm not, I don't, I don't believe in banning books. Question number six, B is for Bible. What is your favorite book of the Bible and what trigger warnings do you think it should have? Wow, okay, so this is the Bible that I have used the most in my life. You can see that it's, it's pretty beat up. Um, and this is the Women's Devotional Bible. It's the new international version. Um, and I mainly really loved it because it's, it's just, it's like 
the right size. But um, whenever I haven't been in the Bible for a while, which which is true at the moment, um, I always start with Mark, uh, the book of Mark in the New Testament, and then I usually go to Galatians. So those are probably my two favorite books um, or the, the two things I return to the most often. Uh, I have to say, like, I don't, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't, I grew up in a world without trigger warnings, so I don't know what, what sort of trigger warnings you might need. Um, obviously, if you read the Bible, you're reading it for um, reasons of faith or reasons of reading the Bible as um, maybe literature or I don't know. I don't know exactly why. But um, I, it seems to me like you should know what, kind of what you're getting into. I don't, I can't think of anything that I would say is a trigger warning. Um, and that's, and that's just me. So question 7B is for bookshelf. Show me um, your bookshelf and bookshelves. All right. So this is the little white bookcase that holds some of our nonfiction. And that's the overflow pile up there on top. And then we get into fiction. Well, we have mass market paperbacks and then uh, fiction. So there's all Jason's Peter Carey books. And then Dickens is down there on the bottom. Over here on this side, we've got uh, some Penelope Fitzgerald. Uh, John Le Carre is up here at the top next to the Steve Larson books. There's Andrea Levy, great, great author. There's my Betsy Tacey books, Henning Mankell. Of course, uh, our collection of uh, Hilary Mantel there. Larry McMurtry doesn't fit on the shelf yet. This bookcase is a real mess because I tend to use it to create my TBRs and keep track of what I already have read. So you can see the books I've already read this quarter. And we just moved the poetry over here. So I'm really excited that I'll be able to get to it a little bit easier. There's Jason's blanket that he's working on for the cat. Um, Jane Smiley's up there at the top with Allie Smith. Uh, there's Sarah Waters. And yeah, so some really, this is more, now we're getting into like film and books about books. There's Shakespeare. So, and then if we go over here, we move, this is where we moved religion to. So our religious books are there. This is where, or YA, middle grade kind of books. There's Harry Potter. Um, some picture books that we just, oh, for whatever reason, can't let go of. But yeah, so that's our library. All right, and the last question in the B tag is question eight. Um, B is for Brazil. Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist has been translated into 70 languages. Have you read any Paulo, Paulo Coelho, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, books, and what did you think? I haven't. So if, I, if, there's, if I'm missing out, you should tell me in the comment section down below. Okay, now we're gonna fire away into the D tag. I was tagged um, in this by Jordan Parsons. Uh, and we all need to rally around Jordan Parsons. <laughs> so be sure to check out his channel. And uh, yeah, Jordan thinks that Hamlet and Pride and Prejudice are overrated. So we need to go and we need to, to do an intervention. Uh, <laughs> intervention there um no jordan jordan has a great channel be sure to check it out but yes i i did i did give him some guff recently about that uh question number one d is for doll what is your favorite role doll book honestly like i read a few role doll books as an adult i don't remember them i mean i might have read charlie and the chocolate factory i don't know uh, I, I did not read Roald Dahl books as a kid, though, for whatever reason. I have no idea why. 
Question number two, D is for Doctor Who. What is your favorite book about time travel? So I grew up with a mother who loved time travel romances and I read a lot of them. Uh, two I especially remember are by Jude Devereaux. Uh, pretty sexy. <laughs> recent one that I've read and I do need to reread this is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Um, and I made Jason read this and he read to me some of the sexy passages in it out loud and I was like, oh yeah, that is kind of, ugh. So I need to reread this just to see if um, my feelings about it have changed at all. All right. Uh, question number three, D is for Dickens. How many Dickens novels have you read? I can't believe this. I counted it up. I have read 10. That was really exciting. Uh, I love Dickens, so that's great. Uh, question number four, D is for dictionary. In these internet years, you still use physical paper dictionaries and I would really love to say that I'm the kind of person who has a dictionary like near me when I'm reading or that sort of thing, but it's just so much easier to just go to like dictionary.com or just, yeah, like try to find the definition online. Like it's just so much easier. So I don't, but I still think there should be paper dictionaries out there. <laughs> And I'm sure, I'm sure we own one. I just don't really know off the top of my head. I, I'm guessing it's in the cupboard across from me. Uh, yeah, so I have not looked in a paper dictionary for a while. Um, question five, D is for dagger and detective. What's the last detective novel you read? And that would be A Most Novel Revenge by Ash Ashley Weaver, excuse me. This is part of the, um, Amory Ames mystery series. So, yep, I read this uh, just just this year. All right, this is the question I've been dreading. D is for Dostoevsky. What is your favorite Dostoevsky novel? I haven't read any Dostoevsky yet, you guys. <laughs> I did pull off the shelf two. Um, <laughs> uh, this is Crime and Punishment. And here is the Brothers Karamazov. And I really do want to read these books because I've heard so many amazing things about them. But I just, I haven't got there. And I do tend to struggle with the Russians a bit. So yeah, um, but I definitely, definitely want to get to those books. Finally, the last question is D is for drawing. Who is your favorite visual artist? My mother was an art teacher, so this is a very challenging question for me. I have a lot of artists that I really love. I love almost all of the Impressionists, like it's by Cezanne. Um, so yeah, I, I've been to uh, Van Gogh's home. I have been to Monet's home outside of Paris. Um, yeah, so I really, I really just love them. They're just fantastic and beautiful and just keep drawing me back. Um, and the other favorite um, artist I have um, for the D is for drawing prompt is Andrew Wyeth. And when you see me film upstairs, there is a picture of Christina's world's uh, right out behind, behind me on the wall. Um, that was Jason's wedding gift to me. I'm trying to find a good image here. Like, I love, look at that. I love that. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. So anyway, thank you, Steve and Jordan for tagging me. I look forward to seeing uh, Berna, Bob, Elizabeth, and the woman at Knitting Books, etc. I'm so sorry. I don't know what your first name is. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see your version of, like I said, one or both of these tags. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.